Hey, I am Joe Mullenbach, and welcome to Asia Haptics. I am in Scuba, Japan right now at the very first Asia Haptics conference to show off this thing, um, the T-Pad phone. The T-Pad phone is a smartphone with a touch screen that you can feel. It uses ultrasonic friction reduction to change the resistance force on your fingertip um, as you slide it around the screen, giving you the perception of texture and shape. Um, the surface haptic display itself is a completely flat piece of glass um, that sits right on top of a Motorola Moto G smartphone. Um, and the applications run on stock Android. There's no jailbreaking or anything involved. Uh, this phone actually works. Um, and I just want to say that this, this phone is the product of a lot of excellent work by a whole group of people in our lab. And I'm, I'm really excited to be the one that, that gets to show it off here. Uh, specifically, uh, what I'm here to show is an application that is probably the most fun thing um, that we've ever done with a T-pad. And it is a camera application that allows you to take a picture of something, say this teacup, um, and then immediately feel it on the screen. So take picture. Um, and, and now you can run your finger around the screen. Um, and the rendering algorithm, um, how we're displaying um, the haptics here is pretty simple. Um, all it is doing is displaying low friction um, on the white parts of the picture and high friction on the black parts of the picture with all the, the shades of gray in between. And what's really kind of incredible to me is that uh, despite how simple and ultimately inaccurate this representation is, um, it still does carry a lot of information, um, such as the location of edges and the statistics of the texture. Um, and, and feeling it, my mind still wants to believe what it's feeling. I, I'm, I, I feel like I'm, I'm trying to integrate the, the visual and the haptic into one coherent um, perception. Uh, plus, it is just really fun to walk around with this, explore, snap pictures, see what things feel like. Uh, yesterday, I was walking around scuba, and I think probably looking very much the tourist as I was taking pictures of what are otherwise very mundane and ordinary things, um, but they had interesting textures, and I, I wanted to see what they felt like. Um, on the T-pad phone. So um, the camera application is really only one example of what is possible with the T-pad phone. Um, we built this to be a platform um, for, for others to experiment and to be creative with. Um, and over the last year and a half, um, from all the people that we've talked to about the T-pad tablet project, um, We've gotten a lot of feedback that instead of building their own device, um, people would much rather just purchase one that, that we built for them. Um, so here you go. Um, we have partnered with a company, Tangible Haptics, and for the very first time you are able to purchase a T-Pad tablet project device. Um, the the T-Pad phone is still a prototype device at this point. Uh, it's, it's meant for explorers of the future of touchscreens, not really um, your, your typical mainstream consumer. Um, but still, shoot me an email if you're interested in, in uh, getting your fingers on one. Take care.